Welcome. My name is Swarna and I work at Global School Leaders, an organization focused on the professional development of school leaders around the world. Thank you for engaging with these videos in our teacher development series. We hope you found it helpful to learn about giving feedback to teachers. In this video, we will focus on building your ability to prepare effectively for these feedback conversations. Earlier in this module, we learned about the lesson observation cycle, a three-stage process that helps us prepare for these conversations. Observe, review, and co-create. By now, you are quite familiar with the observations and what to look for in lessons. So, we will be focusing on the review part of the process in this video. There are three steps to this part. Review. Questions, Glows and Grows. The first thing to do once we are back in our office after the observation is to review our notes. You'll remember that during the observation, our job is to capture only evidence. Things we see happening in front of us as they happen. What we don't record is our personal opinions. What we think or feel about what we just observed. We only form this opinion during the review stage. You can find the examples of evidence and opinion on the screen here. For example, let's say while we are observing a class, these are the notes we took. Let me zoom into the notes. Please feel free to pause this video to read the notes. Notice that there is no personal opinion. It simply describes what we are seeing without saying whether it is good or bad. Now let's move on to the next step. We don't want feedback to be just one way. So we also want to think about the questions to ask the teachers. These questions should either help the teacher reflect on their lesson and choices they made or helps us fill in the blanks with what we missed in the lesson. Let's go back to our example again. Let me zoom into the question column. In this case, here are some questions we could ask the teacher to help her reflect on her lesson. Do you think students understood the correct meaning of photosynthesis? How do you know this? What do you plan to do to make sure that they understand the concept beyond the definition? The questions could sometimes also be about things we are unsure of. Maybe the teacher had plans to do more with the definition either later in the lesson after you left or the next day. We want to leave room to hear the teacher describe their thinking before making and sharing any conclusion with the teacher. We should always be open to changing our feedback based on what we are learning in the conversation. Once we are done reviewing our notes and adding questions, now is the time we should ask ourselves how we feel about what we saw. Was this the best way to teach the concepts to the students? Did they actively engage with learning process? How do we know? These reflections let us think about what questions to ask the teacher and what we see as they are glows and grows. Let's look at the same example as before. And let me zoom into the glows and grows section. In this case, the teacher explained key words in the text before introducing a new concept, which is always a good practice. She also asked the students questions about it, which means that they had opportunity to engage actively and were not just silently listening. These are the glows for this teacher, things she did well. In the next part, however, the teacher read and explained the definition of photosynthesis and asked the students to write it down. She didn't ask them any follow-up questions before moving on to the next part of the lesson. Now, we feel that this could be improved. She could have asked few questions to explain what they have understood in their own words to check for understanding. So, the grow for this teacher then becomes Check for understanding by asking students direct question before moving on from a new concept. Now that we have reviewed our notes, written down the questions we would like to ask the teacher 
and identify glows and grows. We are prepared to have this conversation with an open mind. So this brings us to the end. To complete this module, do a short lesson observation and share your preparation notes with us. You can also share your ideas and reflections in the GSL community group. We look forward to hearing about your experience. Thank you for watching.